It's the show ESPN.com really wants to do but doesn't have the guts to do. It's the Flying Pigskin Show, and it's only on WCPO.com. Good morning. We're live right here, right now, talking about your Cincinnati Bengals. And you can participate, too, by Twitter, by email, by mailgram, by whatever you want to do. Because your Cincinnati Bengals right now are 3-0 and and did not lose this weekend. And this weekend was so huge from Cincinnati's point of view because Pittsburgh lost. It's always a great weekend when Pittsburgh loses. We're going to get into that. we got a lot to get to today. Not just about what happened around the division, what happened around the NFL on Sunday, but also what's coming up next week. Bengals hop a jet, they head to New England, and they play Sunday night football against the Patriots. Now, just, just riddle me this, Batman. What if Kansas City beats New England tonight? What kind of moral shape will that team be in heading back to New England next, next Sunday night? See, that's the way you got to think in this league. You know, you want an opponent that's got a short week and maybe got beaten up a little bit on Sunday night football. You want him backed into a corner. No, you probably don't want Tom Brady backed into a corner. But you want him beat anyway. Have him thinking, you, you, second you, thoughts and stuff you, like that. You sound like Chad Johnson. Remember when we were playing Kansas City in 2005 when he, or four when he predicted that. Do you remember that week? Yes, yes. It was, yes. It was, it was, the I Kansas sound City like was Chad. The biggest thing ever. That's right. You're, you, you, Chad makes the Kool-Aid. Not only does he drink it. I know. You know he, 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 yes. That's our. Good morning, Ken. That's our director, Matt Luke. And Matt, good morning. Good morning, it's everybody. Yes, us. it's good to see you. This is Mike. Good morning. From the back bench. And Mike. Libby. Brian, who normally sits in this chair, took a tumble over the weekend. What did I don't he know, do? Have you, ever seen, have you ever seen Brian's moped? We should have a picture of that. Really? I yes. Think, well, I it's thought like maybe a scooter he tripped over or something. His pocket protector. Well. No, no, but he he uh, he hit some gravel and yeah. uh, he, he was is lucky, he's right? he's out of action for is a he, while. But he's okay. I mean, by and large, he's going to be okay. It, well, he's going to survive. Yes, he yes, will. But I think he's going to have his arm like this for you know immobile oh, for about two okay. months or something like that. Well, we yeah. like Libby. He broke Libby's his clavicle. Here. We like Libby. I don't even know where that is. The clavicle. Well, that's like your uh, your collarbone. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, he's his is broken. Oh. Sounds like it hurt. Yes. He so, fell off a moped. He did. See, it's those two-wheeled, uh, you know, motorized vehicles that always get you in trouble, I think. I mean, <laughs> kind of well, tough, kind of yes, tough. Yes, they go down often. But anyway, I'm fired up because, you know, you get a bye week and, and you watch, you, you know, the Ravens played well. And you watch the Steelers lose. And I'm kind of fired oh. up because of that. Because yeah. I, I just, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how you feel, but I just, to me, it's like the rest of this division is, is, is woefully mediocre. And then... And then you got the Bengals who are three and zero, and it's look. If they look like world beaters, they'll be on. They didn't even play. Well, I predict Baltimore, they'll be on top of the rankings again this week. Power Baltimore, rankings. Baltimore is pretty good. Baltimore, I think and Baltimore is is the Bengals beat them, but uh, yeah. And that Tampa Bay. Most Sundays when the Bengals don't play, I don't even like watching football. But watching the ba the Buccaneers come back and beat the Pittsburgh Steelers was just one of the greatest things ever. Well, uh, Tampa Bay second there, or, or the Steelers secondary is just decimated. They, they and over and above that. You can't you can't play pass defense in this league anymore. You can't. It it basically has become. I think it's morphed into arena football because a, a cornerback can't he can't even look at a guy when he's five yards down the field. So what you're what you're hoping for at that point is the athleticism of the cornerback or the safety as opposed to whatever kind of technique he can play. He's got to be able to run. He's got to be able to jump. But forget about trying to misdirect a wide receiver. You got a flag thrown now. You yeah. can't play pass defense in this league anymore. Well, and, and I'm all for concussion sensitivity or whatever it, whatever it needs to be. But they can't hit anybody now either. I mean, the guy goes in, he lowers his shoulder, and then his helmet actually taps the other one. And, and they're, they're calling everything, and the guys are afraid they're going to get fined. I know. And, that's, and, that's, the, and that's, that's the crux of it right now. If you have a good pass rush, you got a chance to defend but if you don't have a good pass rush or a, a mediocre pass rush or just an okay pass rush, you, you have no shot at defending in this league anymore. You okay. really don't. And I, I don't like it. I mean, I know fans want to see offense and they want to see quarterbacks and wide receivers excel. But there's also another dimension of this game, I think, that's going out the window. Dick LeBeau didn't get stupid overnight. His, the, the, the rules <laughs> changed on him, right? Am I right? Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's, that's the way it is. He'll be the first one to tell you. But we can tell someone has, uh, has someone else. Someone else has uh, settled down next to you in the basement down there? Well, actually, we had a wardrobe change at Wait. the last moment because Catherine Nero came in. 
And, and, and Catherine, it's good to see you. Uh, lovely you. to see you too, Ken. But we, we do everything in our business, as you know, off a green screen. A lot of things, yes. Uh, Seth, <laughs> I don't use the green screen all that much, so today I showed up wearing green. And basically, uh, that would have been, I would have been like this detached head. So I had to run. Thank you to Julie O'Neill for keeping half her wardrobe in the Channel 9 bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, dress courtesy of Julie. You're I'll wearing Julie on I'm wearing Julie on She like, doesn't know. That's the beauty of it. You're kind of like sisters. Huh? You share everything. You know, the beauty of it is since so few people watch this, hardly anybody will know. I'm kidding. Totally kidding. Ouch. I'm kidding. I Ouch. will say this. I need to. I need like a little stool. My feet don't reach the floor. They're just kind of like hanging out in thin air. How I'm tall are you? I'm. Well, the question is, Ken, how short am I? Uh, uh, I am 4'11". 4'11". Yeah, I know. See, see, you go, whoa. <laughs> I remember, oh, this is so much better. I got pulled over one time uh, by, a, by a police hi, officer. Hi, Greg. Uh, yeah, hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, and so he, he looked at my license and it said 411. He's like, what's this? I'm like, that's my height. And he's like, no, it's not. <laughs> get out of the car. And I'm like, what? He's like, I just got to see how short that is. I'm like, am I going to get a ticket? And he's like, no. I'm like, okay. Wow. So you got out of the car just to show him how tall you are. That's, I'm not going to say I'm gonna, short. But I'm going to do what a police officer tells me to do. And he said get out of the car. So I did. Really? Yes. What were you doing? You were speeding? I was speeding. Really? Here? Uh, allegedly. Here in Cincinnati? Yes. Allegedly speeding. I mean, I never got the ticket, so clearly I wasn't speeding. He lets you go with a warning and a, and a height check. <laughs> yes, exactly. But the, the sad thing is, according to Kentucky, Kentucky state law right now, I would go from a booster seat directly to the driver's seat at age 16. Like, I don't, I would never have gone, for, I would never have been able to just sit in a car regular. What do you do on a bye weekend? Because I know you watch you know, football all the time. Let me tell you what I did. I had maybe one of the weirdest experiences of my adult life yesterday. I went to go see the My Little Pony movie. Now, I don't know if anyone is. <laughs> is there a new My yes, Little Pony movie? Sadly. I mean, I, I've heard of My Little Pony. Oh, but Matt. Is, exactly. is, is it an evolving thing? Does it's, the pony ever grow up to be a horse? No, no, no. They actually turn into girls now. They're equestrian <laughs> girls. <laughs> the weirdness of it was. Well, in believe this movie, me, it hasn't gotten weird so far. No, no, this all. is where it gets weirder. Yeah. There are male My Little Pony fans called Bronies. Oh, I know. Yeah. The, the, the theater was Jabroni? 70% yeah. Bronies and 30% 10 year old girls. Well, they're like and they had the same reaction to everything that happened in the movie. It, they were like grown men? Grown men with shirts on My Little Pony. My kids but were like, this we is should, awesome. We should stop this conversation, I think, right now. Yeah. Well, the internet's a place for it. It would be a good time. Uh, no, well, uh, the, the, well the, this would be a good time to, to move on to our weekly theme and or question, internet yes. question. Which, yes. Catherine, you can, you can be the first one to offer yeah. your opinion about this, and I awesome. know that you have no shortage. I don't. Is that a pun? Is that what? a short joke? No, I don't think okay. so. Well, Second. it could be. Which side of the ball is the are the Bengals better? Which team is better? The offense Ooh, that's a great question. or that the defense? The offense or the defense? Oh, I get to go first? Yes, of course. Uh, I would say defense <laughs> right now. Um, and, and it's mainly because, you know, A.J. Green was a little wonky there for a while. I don't know. I, I'm going to say defense because I think it's more solid across the board, yeah. like the bench is deeper. I agree. I think it's defense simply because the offense is having trouble getting the ball in the end zone. Yeah, uh, that's exactly right. So I, I would go defense, and I would say defense with Vontez Perfect is like off the charts, great defense. Without him, still very good. Mm -hmm. It's amazing the difference he makes, though. Yeah. You know, we're forgetting about the special teams. Here I know, too, like they, they weren't scoring all the I points. I mean, well, Huber had a great week last week. Yeah. He put a couple down inside the five. And, I mean, I was a direct result from that safety. It was his punt. So. Yeah, but Nugent's missed it, a lot of field goals. Oh, that's true. I forgot. I mean, about he got. I mean, but he's I, also I, scored a lot of points, but, but they had played a lot well. of opportunities. Yeah. They played well. Did, yeah. But I, I think their defense is just off the charts good mm -hmm. with with perfect. But without him, they're still very good too. I honestly kind of I I, I kind of think that this is. You know, you're going to get to a point in the season where one week the defense plays well and then it doesn't, the offense picks it up. I think that's how you win games. But that's state. never been the case for the Bengals. It's one no. or the other. Usually right. it's neither. But sometimes, most of the time, it's one or the other lately. And what you'll never hear in this town is coaching is the best. Doesn't Marvin, matter who it is. Marvin Lewis can't. Mar, I, we, we did a whole thing on sports of all sorts last night. Why Marvin Lewis can't get any love in this town, mm -hmm. and why Andy Dalton can't get any love in this town. Vince Lombardi could come back from the grave, and we would have problems with him in this town. Well, why is he wearing that hat? Why isn't he wearing his Bengals gear? Right. Like, there would be something. There why, would be something. Why won't he go live with us? <laughs> because that would be a lead story if Vince <laughs> Lombardi came back from the dead. That's a good point. So, uh, so, uh, I, uh, so I guess the question that now becomes is, in your, in your, um, in your daily duties here mm -hmm. at Channel 9, because you're on in the morning, there's probably games you can't watch, right? You can't watch Sunday night football. Well, that's Monday exactly it. Next things. week's going to be interesting uh, with the with the Patriots. That's a nice. What are you going to do? Uh, not watch it. 
Because let me tell you, this is my theory. If you have to choose between sleep and anything, sleep wins. I mean, just about anything, True. sleep wins. So, uh, you think I can get away with that next I think the people just sneak in the first half. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think they let I think you're that. just going to stay up the entire Well, what, why would next week be any different than any other week? Excellent I mean, point. It's, 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 so anyway, uh, so we're, uh, we're, we're talking about the best side of the ball. Hashtag the Flying Pig Show. Uh, is where you want flying to go. Pig flying skin. pig skin. Flying, what did oh, I say? Thank you, Catherine. Flying pig show. Thank you, Catherine. The flying pig show. Yes. Yeah. Well, the we're going to have pigskin show for for some statistical analysis of oh. that question. A, a you know factual breakdown other than opinion. We yes. bring in our soon to be ex bachelor. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. Wow. Is yes. this yes. news? Uh, it, well, yes. not maybe to you, it's Catherine. Did you know that? I didn't. Uh, yes. No, PJ. I had no idea. I am departing the world of the single. Oh, that's awesome. And what's your name? Uh, PJ, hi. No, not your no, name. No, oh, no, oh, 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 yes. I'm this is not myself. starting well. I'm marrying myself. This is not all about you. <laughs> yes, I'm not used to that. Okay. He has a romance with himself. You. It's a bye week. That's where my head's at. Uh, I, I, her name's Nicole. Nicole. Yes. And how did you two meet? Uh, once upon a time. <laughs> In front of the TV show? There, what? There, there was a New Year's party, and that's all you need to know. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. And you've known each other how long? Yeah. Uh, this is going on, oh, man. Uh, eight years now, seven, eight years we've known each other. Yeah, some, years. somewhere around there, somewhere wow. around there. Wow. So but enough need about to get me. Those PJ, dates down hard and fast. <coughs> PJ, uh, you're not. Oh. You know. Well, she would. She would say our first date is whenever Xavier plays St. Louis, and they don't play anymore, so we don't have an anniversary. Wow. Wait a minute. We're just winging it. What? It's All right. fine. We'll it's go with that. Did, uh, did sure. Xavier play St. Louis on New Year's Eve, or what, what did you say? Oh, well, no, no. <laughs> that, that was once upon a time, Matt. That was okay, all right, all right, all right. That wasn't well, the first date. I get it. That Peter. wasn't the first date. Well, I thank you. Thank you. It's, it's not, quite as, not quite as riveting as the okay. My Little Pony news. No, no. it's not. Um, I mean, but so little is. Yes. That's, so, okay. It's hard, hard to compete with that. Yeah, uh, we'll reel this back in. Good. Let's Drop get some this back on track. Yeah, yeah. What do you got? We've got a couple of numbers to look at here. Okay. We'll start with the defensive side of the ball, because I think that's popular opinion. Folks looking at the defense, a little, a little bit of a higher light than the offense. Not as impressive as maybe advertised from a numbers perspective. So uh, they are only 13th in the league in yards allowed, which it's average at best. That's, yeah, it's middle of the pack. It's, it's middle of the road. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing spectacular there. But where that turns around is, and we've talked about this in the past on this show, um, they're first in the league points allowed, only 11 per game. Which is fantastic. And, and the next closest is Arizona, 15 points a game, and they're actually tied with Baltimore, who, who is apparently good, which we're finding that out. Um, so bend, don't break kind of style defense. That's, yeah. that's sort of a supporting, uh, supporting argument for our defensive numbers. Uh, offensive side of the ball, seventh in yards per game. That's 384. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, the passing game is what's, what's carrying that in, in particular. Um, 262 passing yards a game, um, and uh, it, it's it's a little unfair at this point in the season to to really look at the numbers and, and crunch them because the Bengals have had one less. What game are you trying to say here, PJ? Well, I'm just it's 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 tough when you have that bye week. Six teams were on a bye this week, by the way. I know. Does that seem like a lot? It seems seem like a lot, lot for this early in the season. Yeah, I, I, my fantasy team was just empty. So what you're saying is they're middle of the pack on defense, but a little bit better on offense. Uh, yeah, a, a little bit better on offense. Uh, well, that uh, doesn't support Catherine's theory nor my theory. I'm sorry to break it to you guys. I know, but I mean, well, so what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to stop dealing in facts. I think. PJ, <laughs> I, 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 think I think. PJ, I think we'll have true. to have PJ look a little deeper into the. Uh, There's got to be something that, that that is compelling for the defense. It's 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 well. I, well, let's go back to another number here. Uh, we got um, we got uh, giveaways and takeaways. Okay. That is that is a, a, a by far the Bengals leading the pack. The NFL. So there's your there's your rut right Good. there. Okay. That's that's what's and what's that's a combination there. though. You're you're talking about the the, the differential. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, so the, that would be a combination of defensive work. Yes. And, and offensive, offensive work. work. But and overwhelmingly, uh, uh, you know, seven seven total takeaways for for your Cincinnati Bengals, and that falls uh, that is ninth in the league. So that's pretty good. That's top top third. Um, but a, a plus six differential, which is Again, number one. That's huge. That's um, a that big number. Huge. That is great. And, and that's, I mean, Andy Dalton has not been pressured, still hasn't been sacked right. uh, this year. And even, even this week, he wasn't sacked. Um, so, so, yeah, that's, I guess, sort of the number you want to look at and say, we're taking care of the ball, and we're taking it away on the other side. Pretty good.
That's good knowledge. You know, for this early in the morning, man, that's great knowledge. I'm trying. I like that. I'm, no, I'm fitting in everything I can as, as a bachelor. You don't get any buzz on, in, 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 uh, the buzz I'm getting in town is that it, it's it, what we talked about last week when your boy Chris was here. It was mm -hmm. like, yeah, but, you know, everybody's saying they're it's good. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, but. but. And it's like, what do you mean, yeah, but? I mean, they're, they're, this, this is good, this is good stuff, 3 and 0, but I, the town doesn't seem juiced. The and Carolina's coming to town here right. week after next, and I think, you know, you could probably buy sections of tickets right now. That's accurate, but, uh, you know, I think what it is is Bengals fans are downtrodden. Think about it for generations. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we're like, oh, they made the playoffs. Great, no, they can't yeah, win. That's the way I Cincinnati mean, fans are, unless, right. you, you know, they, we're they're always... We're a glass half-empty kind of town. Exactly. That's what yeah. we are. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's the yeah. But you win. Everybody says, and but Matt they, Lincoln if, is one of them. Win a playoff game, then we'll talk. Well, and then and when if, that if happens, if they beat two. New England, if they beat New England next Sunday night, then I think it'll set things on fire. I think that's that, the Then people game. will believe, at least good? in the short term. Is New England good? No. I, I don't it doesn't matter. It's yeah, the, the reputation, the, just like uh, the Bengals' okay. reputation okay. is not so hot. Let's let's discredit the reputation. Are they right. Let's year? disparage every. Let's just, let's just <laughs> That's throw what that we're away. into here is disparaging let's, reputation. Let's, let's, let's go it. right ahead. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Very well. collaborative <laughs> effort between myself, who I'm marrying myself, and right. we should, my well, We should pass around some cups of Kool Aid. <laughs> yes. But see, that's the problem. It, pass around some Kool-Aid. Do that, but it, you, why is it that way? It shouldn't be that way. Every season is different. Every game is different. Why? Is, okay. Oh. I, I would. I would say if you said that in 2012, <laughs> when they, you know, looked horrible in the playoffs, or, or last, or mm -hmm. pick any year, the last three. The fact of the matter is, if you said that, sure. But this year is completely different. The Kool-Aid changes every year. It's raspberry this year. But we don't know the Kool-Aid changes because we're not there yet. Right. The playoff Kool-Aid is different from regular season Kool-Aid. It's fancier. Right. Well, and, and it's it's spiked. What, what, oh, what kind of what kind of Kool-Aid do you think they serve at the uh, tailgate parties down by the river? That's what we're gonna, <laughs> that's the subject of. That's where Mr. Satin's going next, I think. The, uh, see, Catherine's Catherine's very in tune with us right now. She's been up for a while. Bad. Is Mr. Satin, yes. uh, are we ready to go to Mr. Satin? That is what we are ready to do. Oh, goody. Wow. So let's go to Mr. Satin. Hey, what's happening? This is Mr. Satin down here for the Flying Pigs game. We're down here at the game, and let's go check out some wild, wild, crazy tailgating. What are you guys doing to get ready for this game? Get up. <laughs> so explain to me what is going on with the orange cups now. What's happening with all this? Sure, We're sure. playing some crossfire. Play with you. Can you show me how you guys oh, do we this? Oh, show you. Oh, damn. Right. Yeah. Okay. You've done this before? Yes. Let, yes. It, let, it, let it hit your lips. Okay. And then you suck it down. Lips. Then you suck it down. <laughs> yes. That's it. That's What's in the beer? Just spray paint. Spray paint to the face? You gotta be dedicated. You know, if you ain't dedicated down here, you ain't nothing. How do you do it? How do you do it? Go, you go one whole beer, and yeah. then you go a couple hits of shine. Nice. You make sure your beer's looking right. Yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. get it right. You, you gotta, gotta get it hey, you get ready for the Bengals game a little moonshine. Hopefully, I'll still be able to see later. Man, that's, that's better than toilet wine. <laughs> I get down here at 6 in the morning. Woo! I cook in a freaking trash can. Oh, my goodness. You bring all the smokers you want, all the grills you want. You don't get that out of a trash can. Cook it in a trash can. What's more crazy than that? Uh, yeah. Orange green vodka gummy bears. Fill them up with gummy bears. Fill it up with orange vodka. Let them sit overnight. We're ready to go. Ready to go? Oh, man. Uh, man, that was intense. We go hardcore every Sunday, go man. Hardcore. I mean, we usually have kegs galore back here. Hold on, usually? What are you talking about? Yeah. Party hard last night uh, and they get you, it going. You forgot the kegs? We forgot it, man. <laughs> Tell me about this van right now. We got uh, signatures all over inside, even... Uh, Back in Carson Palmer, we even got Big Ben on there back when he was in Miami. You want a shotgun of beer? Let's, say, let's go shotgun a beer, man. Yeah. Turn it up and start sucking, man. Crush that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Mr. Sutton got <laughs> Hey, we, we were going to work that, that day. You were with your peeps. <laughs> yeah. That was good work. Oh, man, all kind of stuff down there. I, I never, actually, I didn't <laughs> think there were other people like you in this town, but there are. Yeah, they were, they were they're out. I tell you what, tailgating this year, I don't know, for, for some reason, tailgating this year is absolutely bonkers down there. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's alive and well in Cincinnati. They're winning. Hey, They're yes. Winning. Yes, hashtag winning. Let's bring it back. I, absolutely. Let, let's talk about the moonshine for a bit. This is well, real I, apple you, pie moonshine. You know, that's that's a great question because they, they were into it. Ve they were very, very much into it. So I had to get a taste. I had to see what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it was actually pretty tasty. It did taste like I was eating an apple pie. So I went back for seconds. Well, so, of course. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, can, I still have my vision. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be blinded. The That's guy right. cooking in the trash can, that bothered me. <laughs> <laughs> not as much well, as the guy drinking out of the flamingo, but right, that right, bothered right. me a little bit. It was a smaller trash can, so not so much garbage, right? Let's hope. <laughs> and, 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 and beer pong. Do you know what they, I went to Ohio University. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have great, hey, there hey, you go. They, got, they got grandma beer pong there. What, what does that, that mean? Well, on Mother's, on Mother's <laughs> Weekend, okay? Oh, oh no. no. They, <laughs> grandma, they have a tournament on. <laughs> Yummy oh, shake. Their, no, and and, and, and and grandmothers play beer pong, right? Now hang on oh, a second. No this way. is good. And and whatever grandmother wins, okay, she like get she gets like hammered on on the students for the rest of the night. And really, there's some very That's nice, funny. you know, 76, 81, 82 year old ladies that wow. you know they go there and they're just like falling down. It it it, it kind of <laughs> is honestly. It it was I think voted by Forbes magazine as one of the top two or three events in the uh, in the country. Grandma oh, beer pong. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, I would sign up on that. Yeah, <laughs> but this is this is. I think it's only going to get better because you know they come back and they play Carolina. That's a that's a one o'clock game. I yeah, think people are going to be rocking and rolling right. down there. It's it's good. I, yeah, you're right. I think it's just going to get crazier, more more inventive. What? How can you make things to get into your body to get ready for the game? I mean, you know, have you noticed that the tailgating's getting earlier and earlier? Like people getting down there at like six thirty-seven now. Yeah. Where it used to be nine or ten. Now now they're doing two two meals. They're doing breakfast and lunch. <laughs> it, it, it's it's crazy. It's you ask people now they're fighting and they're jockeying for positions down there for that. And it, I don't remember that growing up. I remember uh, you know these these tumbleweeds coming through there. Mm -hmm. Well, so, you, you uh, couldn't tailgate. <laughs> right. I mean, that's it was true. That's true. But really, what, that's, I don't get that. That's weird. But tailgating used to be you know of hot dogs, hamburgers, sit around and maybe have a beer or something. Now it's exotic. Yeah. Now it's it's it you know they 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 prepared mm -hmm. you know stuff that you know like quail and and sometimes <laughs> right. it has to do with the opponent Shrimp. coming in right you know? yeah that's true that, right, I, there'll I be love some that. panther down there exactly. probably yeah. Yeah. Let's hope not. yeah why not or like Carolina barbecue <laughs> you'll up. see that you know yeah <laughs> Matt have you ever tailgated at uh, at a um, Bengals game. Have I? <laughs> what is there an echo in here? Yes. Have you ever? Yes. Yes, I have. Why? Well, we're, we're busy back here. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't know what was going on. I thought there might have been a. Uh, I have. It is not part of my regular uh, pregame routine, though, as uh, many people do. It's. Uh, I've gone to a, a friends every now and then, but like some people, you know, do it every week. They're down there three hours early. That's not me. We, me and my friend Harry, we go to Frisch's at about 11 o'clock and have breakfast and then come down and you park and go to the game. Uh, they tailgate at Frisch's. But yeah. But don't, yeah. But, uh, what do you do? At the counter. <laughs> See, I don't, I've, never, I've never tailgated in my life. I, what? I have what? never. What? At any level, I've never. Can we got to get down to Hold the up. Let's wait go down together. Wait a minute. Let's do it. He has to be your next uh, yeah. feature. Listen, look at this feigned surprise yeah. next to me. You <laughs> have press, to OU. You have yeah. press passes. You get fed for free there at those games. Yes, but I mean the beauty of sports is the tailgate. Right. I mean, the, yeah. like the noontime college Ken, game. If you that's a toughie because you go. Do you go breakfast? Do you go lunch? Because you're out there at nine. You don't know what to do. I have a bowl of Cheerios and I go to the game. If you walked around in the parking lot down by Longworth Hall before a game, you would get fed for free. Oh, as well. you absolutely would. <laughs> oh, yeah. You absolutely would. Okay. Shrimp. Right. Right. Something, something prepared. Or, something prepared yeah. in a garbage can. A man of my, <laughs> yeah. A man of my means is going <laughs> to go eat out of a garbage can. What are you nuts? Correct. A Directed man of my means. Okay. But, title. Mr. Satin, uh, <laughs> would you, would, after your last visit to the the, the tailgate arena, what, would you have? Did you get a gauge for what the uh, general fan thinks, offense, defense? What is your opinion? Oh, my opinion on offense and defense? No, what the fans are thinking. Oh, but the fans, yeah, well, we the both. fans we through me is what I try to deliver You're the voice here. of the fans. Yeah, yeah I, I, I tell you what, I think there's ex more excitement for the offense. People want to see, see Dalton to A.J. Green. Mm -hmm. People want to see 
You know, they want to see some some running game. They, I, I think they really want to see yeah, a be- high explosive offense. And I, I really think that's all the jerseys. I mean, you mm-hmm. know, you'll you'll see the occasional perfect or Jeff Blake jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I saw mean, an I Achilles. Really, I it, saw a guy in line the other day uh, it, with an Achilles Smith. You know, yeah, yeah. Let's that, talk about this that guy's second. holding on hard. Oh, yeah. that. And it I was Achilles Smith. I just <laughs> oh. don't get it. Like, if you're going to buy a jersey, I, I mean, I guess if you spend enough money, like I saw two TJ Hushman's out of jerseys this weekend. Right. And yeah. I mean, like, come on. Yeah. And you're putting tape across, you're like, yeah. Who? You, you, what, you can, know, yeah, you know, you know which one, you know which one never goes out of style and never will? Collinsworth. No. Moon, yeah, yeah. 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 I was saying, you yeah, you're classic. right. The greatest Bengals. Or the boomer. Okay. Or the boomer. You got to go yeah. classic. You got to go yeah. legendary Bengals yes. or yeah. not yeah. at all. You can't, yeah, you can't like be walking around down there like in a Hooshman's Zada jersey. No. <laughs> yeah. no. Or no. Rudy Johnson jersey. It, it's no, no, but Jeff Blake has gotten back to the ironic stage. <laughs> right, so right. now that's yeah. funny again. Right. Yeah. But Corey be, Dillon? Corey Dillon? Cor- no, Corey no. Dillon. You, you, you look cheap if you're walking around it like in a Hooshman. Right. But honestly, I bought the class. I think I. I bought the classic of all classic jerseys. I was at Cooks. Can I say Cooks? I yes. Was at Co- I just, just did, did. twice. Uh, so I was at Cooks maybe like ten years ago, and I bought a Reggie Rembert jersey. Nice. Right. Yeah. That and is my, nice. That's the classic one. And, and I, 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 I'm just you know if Reggie was, was on clearance. He was uh-huh. one of Mike's first like cast outs. You know how the <laughs> Bengals have always just you know when guys get in trouble. You know, yeah. We we take them, and I think it's because Mike gets them for a cheap price. But right. You think? You know, yeah. 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 <laughs> Really? Reg, Reggie was one of the early on guys that, that he did that with. Yeah, the only guy I believe in the history of Cincinnati that was arrested twice inside of three hours by the same traffic cop. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> once for speeding to <laughs> practice and once for speeding from wow. practice. It's like Art Long, legendary. Yeah, <laughs> but that's it. But, you know, Catherine, that's a great point. If you're going to go classic, mm-hmm. you go classic. You go James Brooks. You yeah. go, yeah. you Icky. go Munoz, you Icky. go Collinsworth, yeah. you go Icky. Yeah, I mean, you don't go like Gus Farad. I mean, you just, you just <laughs> oh. don't do things like that. <laughs> yeah. No. And, you know, I get it. Like, especially if parents are buying it for kids. Like, you don't want to spend 50 right. to $100 no. on a jersey that this kid guy's going to get traded in two years. Right. So, I mean, I get it. But so that's, that's why you got to go. And I then, agree. by the way, the jersey with your own name on the back. Sick. Yeah. If you are over right. the age of six, it is not acceptable. I think Dylan's worth of a jersey. I mean, he's worth it. Dylan, Dylan? ran hard. He ran hard for this team with nobody well, blocking just, for him. And he, oh, he, dirty, he, was, he was great. He was awesome. But just when somebody leaves like just that, even if, you, even if yeah. you liked him, you know, when it just gets all nasty and, you know, there's politics and personalities, it's just it, people don't like him. Yeah. That would be like a Carl Pickens. You'd be mad, I mean, too, you if you got hit yeah. that hard. Yeah. I mean, awesome. And I like Carl Pickens. I thought he was a great receiver. He was one, probably the best player on a lot of bad teams. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, he left his the circumstances leaving here. Not horrible. a happy guy. Yeah. That yeah. didn't work. I saw a couple cr- crumb ride jerseys. That was nice. That's, right, that's legit. Yeah, yeah. That was but any, guy, yeah. any guy who goes down and has his legs snapped into Wait, several whatever. pieces right. I mean. on the super, you know, <laughs> and they have, thumbs up. and he's getting mad because they're taking him off the field. <laughs> yeah, he I wanted to keep going. I, I don't know <laughs> who this guy was, but there was a guy that used to go to these games when they were at Riverfront Stadium. And he had a crumb ride jersey on, and he had his own name on top of it. No. And I said, "This is this is a guy with really bad self-esteem." Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like you know, your own name on top of somebody else's number. It's like, dude, what what is it? You know. You, you got to stay home that game. <laughs> yeah, you got. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't don't come out of the house. The kids you gotta do that, say, stay yeah, the kids <laughs> have got to say pop. <laughs> yeah. Nah, right. I don't think so. No, you go over there. <laughs> right. But it's probably a gift from his wife, so he figured he had to wear it. Mm-mm, that's when oh. you say, "Honey, thanks. I'll wear this cleaning the house right. or car, or not at all." So we're feel, we're feeling pretty good here about the about the Bengal offense. I am. I think I, I think I think they can run points up. I think their defense is their heart and soul. I really do. But I think that I think that's what you're you're right. They want to come. The people want to see. They want to see offense. They want to see points. Yep. And in the NFL, I was saying this before you guys arrived. In the NFL today, you can't play defense. You can't play great pass defense because the rules are the such. Rules are set, so yeah. you better yeah. be able to take advantage of that. That's why Pittsburgh's having trouble. Is because they can't play pass defense anymore. And because of that. They're in trouble because their offense can't score a lot of points. Yeah, bad, or some bad play calling there, too. The yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, historically, yeah. they haven't been able to score a lot of points. Mm-hmm. Right. The, the game has changed. They're giving up points now because the, the defensive rules on pass, pass interference. Do you foresee changed. those changing at all? Because, I mean, I feel like they've gone really the far all, in that direction. The, the rules always change. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're, I they're, they're like just they trying to – all they're offset. trying to do is protect their image. I mean, I, 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 it's great that they're taking care of guys who get concussions, but they're only doing it now because – I mean, Because they got like, caught. Yeah, guys who played the NFL years ago, they can't walk now. 
Yeah. Right. You know? Well, I mean, but I, I do think you're right. I think it'll it'll flow back. It's an ebb and flow kind of thing. Hey, with, with the penalties thing, real quick. Uh, penalties went up between 2009, 2010, 2010, and 2011. Total penalties throughout the year have stayed about the same those last three years, three four years. So that 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 seems about right when mm -hmm. they started the crackdown on on different you know, defenseless receiver and, and that kind of thing. So it's just interesting to see, though, that it's been it's about the same last three, four years um, as far as protecting players and things. I like bet that. you'll see they go up this year. Yeah, it, it, it could be. I and here, you here's will. a fun fact, too. Remember our uh, our cornerback friend for Tennessee, uh, uh, Ray Wilson, Bleedy, Bleedy Ray Wilson? Yeah. Uh, he leads the league in penalties this year. He's got the most. Uh, he has eight. That's the dude that didn't know whether to take oh, Andy yeah. Dalton out no. or go for the and ball. And you he have had to no think idea. the rules had something to do he with that. No I know idea. he was right. legit. He could have been tackled. But yeah. you had yeah. to think he's going, oh, well, as a quarterback, he can't Right, touch exactly. Him. I agree. No. Well, he really yeah. doesn't know the rules. So. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> eight times already he's been yeah. caught. That's not good. But I'm watching this Pittsburgh game yesterday. They had six 15-yard penalties in that mm. game. I mean, that's, I mean. That was a great game. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, it turned out great, but I'm looking at yeah. this and I'm saying, what are you thinking? Well, I mean, it, I mean, Palomaro had two face mask penalties. I mean, how can you? I mean, how can That's you get simple. six 15-yard yeah. penalties yeah. in a game? That's pretty weak, especially let you let that guy throw all over you like that. Either. I mean, that's Mike Glennon. Yeah, come mm -hmm. on. I, I, he looks like a nephew. <laughs> we're going to bring it. We, we're Donald gonna bring Hollis it. Donald Hollis wasn't available. Oh, we're going we're gonna to bring in another one of our uh, <laughs> valued resources here on the Flying Pigskin. Chris oh. Reva, good morning. This is awesome. Look, he's got headsets on. I, well, everybody knows how I walk around the newsroom. He does. He, he acts like he's listening to Dre when really it's like, you know, uh, Care Bears, the musical. Wow. Ever. Hey, what's up with the wardrobe malfunction already, Nero? Yeah, well, I forgot it was green, so I had to go change. Wow, did I just hear a Donald Hollis reference? I did, yeah, I made a Donald <laughs> Hollis reference. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What are you guys talking about? It was bye week. Well, we were talking about we were, talk, we were talking about how that you, you're that a, they haven't won a playoff game yeah. under Andy Dalton, and I did see a Munoz jersey reference. Yeah. As yes, well, okay, so Reva, I want your take on this one because he okay. has hard and fast opinions, Bengal, Bengal mm. wise. Okay, so if you're gonna buy a jersey, yes, do you go current player who could be traded in eight minutes, or do you go classic? Well, there's to argue against. Um, there's very few classic numbers you can go, in my opinion. I mean, you can go 14 with Kenny. I think you can go 78 with Munoz. But I think then, like Ken Riley is about it. No, you got Collinsworth. You've got like 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 Ken said. You've got Crom Rye. You can, there's uh, one. You know, I'll give Tim Crom Rye before I give like for a diehard Bengal fan. Maddie, back me up on this before I give Collinsworth. Uh, yeah. Well, I agree. No, I, I agree. Uh, yeah. I think you go present day. I think you go present day, in my opinion. Well, see, but then you're that's just going to then you're just going to be spending a lot of money, in yeah. my opinion. You're right. You're <laughs> that's right. All, funny. You know, that's why I got the Munoz. It's never going to go out of style. How about you know, that's Peter like, Ward? That's like why you don't no. name a, that's why you don't name a street after anybody until they're dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to regret it's, that decision. It's hard to pull out some great names from the '90s and such of those types of jerseys. You know, you're talking about Harold Green. Uh, oh my God. That would be. You mentioned Rudy Johnson. Yeah. Am I still plugged in? I'm still plugged in. All You're right, so hey, your... guys, this is what I found interesting on the Internet this morning. Um, the Bengals' odds to win the Super Bowl have been now reduced in Vegas. Boy, this is a, this is a topic for um, the real deal. Um, to 10 to 1. Whoa. Really? And that is down. Where does from, that they were rank? 16 to 1. Yeah. They're the number one. They're the, they're the lowest odds right now as it stands. They were 16 to 1 to win the Super Bowl last year once they got into the playoffs. Yeah. So everybody's saying that's a little bit too ridiculous. Yeah, this. I think they were. I think they. I think they opened at the LVH, the old uh, Las Vegas Hilton. I think they opened this year at like at like twenty-five to one, and then it dropped to like twenty to one, and then right before the season, it went to like eighteen or sixteen to one. It's amazing. It that's really pretty good odds, yeah. honestly. Yeah, so ten to one's a, ridiculous. Yeah, right. You can't make my retirement plan off that yet. Yeah, you could try. Uh, yeah, so that, and of course, Devin Stills, uh, a big thing online right now. They have surpassed the million dollar mark to raising yeah. money for cancer research. So, you know, Catherine and I were talking about this, Ken, on the morning news this morning. This is a story, obviously, that is heartwarming but heartbreaking at the same time because no father wants to see a child go through that. But to see the way that the city has rallied around this issue yeah. and then also now nationally, it has become a big national I'm issue. I'm just going to say it, and I know this is going to sound terrible, but the NFL needs Devin Still right now. I mean, think about it. All the terrible, terrible headlines that the NFL has. This is such a great story that the entire, you know, like you said, nation 
is rallying behind this guy that you yeah. know maybe six months ago nobody had heard of, right. and now he's like you know, he's got ten thousand jerseys out there. Uh, World News tonight, last night, Sunday did an update on Lee Still. So I mean, yeah, I, no, you're right. I, I think it's been a horrific month for the NFL with all the domestic mm -hmm. violence things. But but uh, this story, really and truly, you talk about a story that came out of nowhere mm -hmm. on this team. I mean, just absolutely came out of nowhere and has gained the steam that it has. And, you know, again, we say this, we said this last week, kudos to the Bengals for, like, getting it. There was a time when that organization Absolutely. would not have gotten that at all. It would have been like, you know. Forget it. They, right. still don't no get some, they still don't get some things, but you're right. Like what, Matt? <laughs> Just the PR with the PR in the whole community, the, the the pissing and moaning about the scoreboard and all that kind of stuff. People are just sick of them, you know. Matty would still argue they still don't know how to win in the playoffs with Andy Dalton. So they still don't get right, you know, they could right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think I I I you know and I, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to figure out who's doing what in that organization. You go crazy trying to do that, but I I do think that that organization as it's gone younger. And it has with Katie Brown and her mm -hmm. husband and some of the. I, I do think that you know, it's it's more of a public thing now. I think Mike in the past, Mike Brown would have done something and would have said, I don't want any publicity. I you know I don't want anything like that. And that's fine if that's the way he wants to be. But it came off then as kind of a little oafish, mm -hmm. and that a little distant. Where I don't think they're quite as distant anymore. And I think that's important when you get to stories like this one. I really do. I, and and you know again, kudos for somebody down there getting it that it's it's okay to get out in front of something publicly sure. you don't always have to do things behind well, the scenes. Well I think that, that Mike Brown ran this as a family business mm -hmm. for so long and just you know I'm gonna make all the decisions yeah. and I'm and gonna do all of this. And he still does. And he does <laughs> but there are some parts of it now like they are more like the Marvin Lewis Charitable uh, Foundation they're 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 more their arms are reaching out a little bit more than they used to and I think this is an indication of that where they might not have publicized it before. They right. might not have made a big deal about it. But Ken, you, you go along that point. We just did a story a couple of weeks ago. I know sports followed up on it. I, I believe it's River City High School out on the west side. Forgive me. Uh, no, what's the high school? Three Catherine? Rivers. Three Rivers High School, where they they just they just put in a new um, turf field that was actually from the Superdome, but it was the Cincinnati Bengals that spearheaded the project right. and yeah. helped them write the grant to pay for it. And while they did have an opening ceremony to that, you didn't hear a whole lot about that in the coverage. I mean, they had former players there. They had current players there. I know Carlos Dunlap was there. Katie Blackburn with her husband was there. Yeah. And again, it was a little bit more quiet if it wasn't for the school district to say, wow, thank you to the Bengals. Um, it never would have happened without, without them. And that's why, you know, I mean, I know Mike from my time around him when I did their games. He, he doesn't like the spotlight. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't. And he wants, he does a lot of stuff that's away from the, the glare of the spotlight. But unfortunately, when you take that position, you, you, you come off as being aloof. And in a company that makes widgets or whatever, you can get away with that. But in a publicly, um, hell, not public, but in a, in a, in a company that's, that's very much in the public eye mm -hmm. that your city is identified with, you, 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 can't, you can't do that. And so whoever it is, whether it's Katie or whether it's her husband or the people in the front office, I think they've drawn Mike out a little bit on this so that the Bengals don't look like a, the train wreck that they were for the last 20 well, years. if you look at the two professional teams here, the Reds and the Bengals, you've got the Castellinis who are like, we're going to put in a right. wonderful ball stadium and we're going to add this and we're going to lower ticket prices. Yeah. Now they've got 80-something games to do that with. So right. they, they do have a little more leverage there. Right. And we're going to give away tickets to Little League teams and we're going to do all these things. And we have this giant, wonderful community fund that, that is really a marquee a charitable wing of the entire Major League Baseball of all of the teams. Yeah. Then you contrast that with the Bengals, and they have not made that overture to fans. And I think that's part of it. I mean, I think that's part of what the fans are having we're to gonna, grapple with. We're going to let Chris get back to the duties that Bruce Cat keep. Thing okay, for you, let, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You uh, guys actually you work in the morning? .com where you're streaming this show right now. Yes, sir. Um, there's a wonderful interactive um, feature. So whatever, click on it. The tracks it's computer thing this season, so it's pretty cool. Check it out. Cool. Okay. All right, All right guys. We'll next week, Chris, we'll see you on the chair. All right, outstanding. See you, Riva. You guys actually work in the morning. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean you're not done a relative at, term. Yeah, not you're done at seven, but I mean your duties can. Well, we still have these cut-ins and radio, and you know, really all kinds of good stuff. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's yes. Cool. All right. Yes. We 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 have a, we have a, a new guest from one of our sister stations. In Cleveland, a Scripps Howard entity, WEWS. Chris, how are you doing this morning? I'm great. 
I'm happy. I'm awake. I've had a lot of coffee here on National Coffee it's Day. It's National so. Coffee Day. Yes, Chris. Thanks for mentioning that. That's good stuff right there. You, you guys are you guys are uh, sleeping off a, bi a bye week. <laughs> That's good work right there. You, you, but you, you you had a bye week, Chris. You shouldn't have. You, you know, yesterday should have been a little bit slower than normal. No. Well, if the Steelers hadn't fumbled away that game, you know, like <laughs> lost that game, I think everyone here in Brownstown would have been asleep, would have gotten well rested for this coming week. But they were having too much fun mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the Steelers' loss there. So yeah, if, if there's a place, if there's a place that could enjoy a Steelers loss more than Cincinnati, I think Cleveland is that place. It was trending yeah. in Cincinnati, by the way, on Twitter. It was like number three, the Steelers. But the, Brown, right. but the Browns, who is, who is the Browns' big rival? Is it the Ravens because they left town? Is it the Steelers? It's the Bengals? Who's it's the rival the, in Cleveland? Who's the big rival up there? It's the Steelers, even though the Steelers have just creamed the Browns for eons lately. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe if... I the think Browns every have, AFC North team, their biggest rival, or in their minds, the team they hate the most is the Steelers. Who else would it be, you know? I mean, there's some stuff with Baltimore, but, you know, uh, it's not as strong. It's more like once Art Modell died, I think that that sort of hatred of Baltimore and the move kind of fell a little bit. I don't know. I'm not from here, so it's hard for me to tell. Where are you but, from uh, then, Chris? I'm from uh, Macon, Georgia, just south of Atlanta. And uh, not only did my Falcons lose to you all, but they lost to Minnesota somehow. You know that uh, Macon, <laughs> Macon, Georgia is the home of one of the greatest sports nickname franchises yes. in the planet. What's the name of the hockey team down there? Uh, the Macon Whoopie. <laughs> yes. The Macon Whoopie. <laughs> it's true. It's a true story. Yeah. And after every game, they used to play that song. Uh, so they would wrap up the game with, I'm making Whoopie. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I would kill to have one of those jerseys. That, the, the team, you know, folded because it's hockey in the South. But the team folded uh, – Gosh, you know, like ten years ago, I would kill to have one of those old school jerseys. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the, the, you, uh, Johnny Manziel, is he ever going to see the light of day? I mean, is he? Is he? I mean, Hoyer, I guess, has played well. You yeah. know, but yeah, he's I mean, looked good. He's what's confident. the over under on Manziel actually starting up there? Uh, right now, the chances are slim. I think all the talk going into the the season was, uh, well, you know, after the bye week, we'll see Johnny. They're just giving him a chance to get his feet, you know, under him. Uh, and, and honestly, Hoyer has acquitted himself rather well. So I don't, I don't think Manziel is going to be uh, featured anytime soon, barring an injury to, to Brian Hoyer. So, uh, which is funny because you had all these other quarterbacks uh, in this past draft who are already starting, some from injury and some from, you know, overtaking their competition. But uh, yeah, Manziel doesn't look like he's going to be joining them anytime soon. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I was amazingly impressed that that the Browns beat. The Saints until I've seen what the Saints done <laughs> in the wake of That's that. That's a shock yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. But, but still, I mean that that was that was a huge win up there. Mm -hmm. And is there a feeling up there, Chris, that oh, that yeah. the Browns can be competitive inside this division, if not win it? You've never seen a more hopeful one and two fan base. You know, like uh, having having lost you know two of the first three games. They're really excited, in part because of that win against the Saints. It was the first home opening win in a long time. And uh, I, I think just because each of those two losses came, you know, right at the last second, you know, so they, they were hard fought and the defense has showed up because I, I don't know if you saw what the Ravens did to uh, Charlotte. I mean, not Charlotte, sorry, Carolina yesterday. But, uh, you know, they, they didn't run that offense on the Browns. You know, they, they couldn't move the ball nearly as well. So yeah. um, I think I think there's a lot of hope. We'll see where it goes. But, you know, they're going to face Tennessee coming out of the bye week. That should be a win. Uh, I think I saw a stat somewhere that uh, yesterday, the five next games that the, the Browns play, uh, the record of those teams combined was one and four. Ooh. So they've got they've got a nice road ahead of them. And uh, it, it appears, you know, that, that hope springs eternal in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, They're kind of like Cub fans in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have no reason or business hoping and and believing, but yeah, they do. Yeah, do you so. Uh, so do you do you actually know those guys that wear those like dog faces? Have you ever met them? And what do they look like without those dog faces on? No, those are masks. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I shouldn't say that because I actually have, have to go out in public and. You know, well, you're in Cincinnati. I should be safe. No, the um, you know they they look like regular old Joes. You know uh. I've met a few. I haven't met the, the the big famous one is John Big Dog Thompson. He's yeah. the one that you, you think of wearing that mask. And no one knows where the guy is. And so, like, it's become my secret mission 
uh, to find this fellow because he had lost like 300 pounds. So like, you know, outside of that mask, would you recognize him? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's interesting you ask that because I'm looking for the guy. Cleveland's really, I mean, it's really, come on. I mean, you got you got Manziel, you got LeBron, yeah, you got the, the Republican guys. National Convention up there. I mean, it's like oh, yeah. Cleveland suddenly has got a pulse again. It's not just that. What's that guy's name that does that game show that always talks about? Oh, Drew Carey. <laughs> yeah, you, you got more going on than him. I mean, that's all you had there for a while was that guy. I mean, things are going on up there in Cleveland now. And and I think they all have me to thank for it too because really? I got here about a year ago, and uh, that's when things started picking up for the city. So clearly, clearly, yeah, the wave started then. Yeah, and I don't know if you want to send a letter to the mayor or anything like that to let them know. We'll get right <laughs> I, on I, that. I think he's in the city. Maybe. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. Chris, we appreciate you being on with us today, man. That's great. That's I'm, glad, I'm glad somebody's up. You you do your own show up there, right? Dogs on the run at this hour? We do. We do. Uh, our, our our Chief Cheese, Andy Baskin, uh, is in charge. Uh, usually he's joined by Andre Not. However, Andre's having a, a child today. He's not. His wife's having the child. He's <laughs> going to be there to hopefully take care of the kid uh, when, when his wife passes out. But, uh, yeah, so Andy's going solo today. Uh, I chime in from the newsroom, kind of like I'm doing now, yeah. and uh, yeah, we have a lot of a lot of fun, a lot of callers. Uh, former uh, Browns quarterback Tim Couch, who you may remember from his Kentucky days. Oh, right, him. yeah, That's yeah. That's when I had season tickets to UK. Oh, he back was back in the day. Air yeah. raid. Yes, what a string of great quarterbacks they've had up there, starting with <laughs> Tim Couch. That was pretty much it. Everybody <laughs> got fired and suspended. That was a bad offensive line, uh, yeah. among a lot of other bad things. But yeah, yeah, he. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think. He he wonders sometimes, boy, what could have been, you know. Um, but yeah, no, we have a lot of fun up here. With Dogs in the run, uh, and uh, looking forward to, to catching you guys a little bit more too. Great, Chris. Thanks for joining Thank us. We you. appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Y'all take care. Chris Horn, WE WS Channel you Five in Cleveland. I tell you, does it does it surprise you that it seems like Browns fans are a little more uh, optimistic than Bengals fans? Yeah, but it's like when you're when you're crawling through a desert. And you haven't had a drink of water for three days, and there's a drop there. You pounce on that drop because you think it's the last drop you're going to see. Right, right. Here, right. we've kind of like been swimming in a, in a reservoir, so we know that there's always water there. But up there, there's not always Tiny that water. Drop. Speaking of a reservoir, a, a reservoir of great information for mm -hmm, us is mm -hmm. our next guest here on uh, the uh, the show, the Flying Pigskin Show. Yes, that's the one. And 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 who are you? You've commandeered the, the show down there, Ken? We no, I'm to, sorry. I, 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 I was just okay. hoping you'd jump in and just I, tell I me apologize. What. I was busy back here. I'm we sorry. Brought, I didn't we've know. Got a member, we've got a member of the 1988 slash 1989 Super Bowl participant, AFC champion, Cincinnati Bengals, Icky Woods. Good morning, Icky. Good morning. Oh. Icky, how are you, man? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm getting out of you. Um, I'll tell you what. I, I know you're doing great. I saw that commercial you're doing The Geico commercial is awesome. Unbelievable. No, thank you. I'm kind of shit for that. You get, you. you get free insurance for the rest of your life? Uh, well. <laughs> how you doing, man? First of all, first question I got to ask, how's your health? How you feeling? I feel good. 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 Well, good. Well, good. Well, good. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I, and, and uh, you know, the, we see the commercial. I know you, you you got uh, the foundation going. What else? I think people want to know what you're up to these days. What's going on? Oh, that's it, man. Just uh, my main thing is working with the Sons Foundation. I did a long time, four years ago, to ask. So my whole, uh, my whole dream is to uh, fight that deadly disease called asthma. So I'm uh, raising money for asthma research, asthma education. He was all an organ donor, so we're an uh, uh, advocate for organ Nation. And then it was also a straight day student. So we, uh, we gave them away over 20000 in scholarships to kids going off to college. So the foundation is uh, doing, some, doing some wonderful things. And we're always looking for donations to help us along the way. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, you got to be geeked about the way the Bengals are playing this year, Rick. It's almost like it's 1988 all over again. Well, yeah, I'm very excited. You know, we're off to a great start. Three and all, the time you can start three and all, it's, uh, it's, it's a great thing, but uh, not putting them in the playoffs in the Super Bowl yet. You know, it's a long season. There's 13 more games left. So if guys keep playing the way they're playing and, and Dalton uh, continues to not turn the ball over, I think we got a, we got a great shot this year. So, uh, But I'm not putting them in the playoffs in the Super Bowl yet. 
still early in the season. So, Icky, do you, do you get out to many games? Do you get to see these guys in person? Well, I'm actually, I'm actually in all the home games. I run a couple of concession stands at the stadium to raise money for my son's foundation. So, yeah. I'm all, at all the uh, home games. And, well, I guess it's, uh, it's great if guys can do what they did last year, win all their home games, split on the road. They'll be 12-4 and four and hopefully have a you know, home advantage at the playoffs. That would be a big thing if we can get home field advantage about the playoffs and play all the playoff games at home. I think that, that's almost going to get to the Super Bowl because if you can win at home and get all the playoff games at home, it, it makes the uh, a lot easier. We're gonna, we were talking about that spot, Icky. We're going to take a look at it here. You can listen to it with us on the phone. Some people haven't seen it. Ken, hadn't, Ken hasn't even seen it. We, we, it was, it's, it's hilarious. So we're going we're gonna to take a look at it now. Here we go. Huh. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more in car insurance. Hey, I know that. Well, did you know that former pro football player Icky Woods will celebrate almost anything? Uh, uh. Number 44. Woo! 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts. Woo! Give me some! Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I've never anybody so excited about cold cuts in all my days. That's all yeah, I, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Did you have to, like, sit down and take a break, Icky, after you did the shuffle? You know, did you, did you, you know, the knees were okay and everything? Yeah, you, you know, I, I couldn't do a whole bunch of them, but I can get a, a few of them. <laughs> and, uh, we, we, we them just right. <laughs> are you surprised that it's still a thing? I mean, here we are in 2014. People still want to see the Icky Shuffle. Uh, you know what? I, mean, I am. I'm very surprised. I didn't didn't think it would take off like that. But, you know, I told people I just so happened being in the right place at the right time. We were winning ball games on our way to the Super Bowl. And, you know, just you know, being in the right place. Listen, we were losing games and didn't go to the Super Bowl. I don't think it would have took off the way it did, but, you know, it, uh, oh, it was for a while. Went to Japan. I had a cousin in Japan called me and, and told me that they were doing my show in Japan. So it went global, so it's uh, I'm very, very, very happy about that. But, you know, it, it is what Ick, it's great talking to you again, man. Uh, I, I, every time I see you, I feel young again. I'll tell you that. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, yeah. You and everybody know that the foundation is called the Javante Wood Foundation, and it's called it's spelled J O V A A T E Wood Foundation dot org. So if you guys want to go on and make a donation, we definitely appreciate it. And thank you guys for having me on. Got it up on the screen right now. Thank you, Icky. Have a great day. Yeah, All right, have, my friend. And we, we know it's a little hard to understand it, but that's the most important part. Javante, Javante Woods Foundation yeah, yeah, yeah. for his son who who unfortunately passed. Yes, He's we, some great things for him. We, we apologize to Icky. Obviously, our phone situation wasn't working as it should have there. That's, that, was, that was disappointing, but it was great for him to be with us today. Matt, where are we going next, brother? Now we're going to Whoa! Looking. the real McCoy. Hello, Mike. What's going on, Ken? So we'll be... tell me how Andy Dalton was this week. Um, <laughs> uh, he was stewing. Stewing. Mike he probably thinks this is the best week he had I, I all just year. Wanna <laughs> throw, I want to throw something in there right quick. Icky was doing the shuffle, and guess what kind of meat he threw down on the ground? Uh. It was bologna, just like the Bengals are. That was bologna. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but See, you know, I, hold it. I got to tell you something. I'm not. You I'm know, not going anywhere. Go. <laughs> you and I are cool. Did you go in my office and steal your bobblehead back from me? That's the only bobblehead that's missing out of my office is yours. Uh, uh we're gonna get the I team on this. So one. somebody <laughs> has swiped my Cam Brew bobblehead. I, I, I had nothing to do with that. I, 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 amazingly, I have about a thousand of those at They're home. They're going so. for big bucks on eBay. I'm <laughs> well, sure it was somebody trying to resell it. Could you bring it. me another? One? I'm like, I was looking. Why for you it. lost the last one I gave you? Well, somebody swiped it. That's the only one that's missing. Okay. I can't figure it. Okay, now to some real stuff here. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. We're not going to talk about uh, Monday Night Football. Okay. Cause Brady, they're going to win tonight. Everybody's on the Chiefs for tonight's game. Well, you know, Everybody's uh, on Chiefs, Chiefs not playing well. They're not playing well at all. But uh, if so, if 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 uh, the Patriots lose, yeah, 
the Bengals are really going to be in trouble because I never can remember a time where the Patriots have lost two games in a row with Tom Brady being at the helm. You have a short helm. week, though. Let's keep yeah, that in mind. That, that's somewhat, the bad thing about it. It's week. a short week, but, you know, uh, Andy looks at Brady. That's who Andy wants to be is a when he grows Tom, up. Yes, uh, Tom Brady. Who among us doesn't? He's married to a supermodel, and he's super hot. Okay, exactly. <laughs> I want to be Tom Brady. You know, it, it's like if Dalton. Could it be worse? If Dalton goes in and has a good game, throws for 300 plus, mm -hmm. and the Bengals run, rush for 100 yards or more, yeah. they could possibly get the win. But it's real hard to beat Tom Brady at home. You know, uh, Gorkowski is playing really well, but Tom is not the Tom of old. If you notice the last few games he's been playing, he has been going down the field with the ball. But I do yeah. think with the Mike. little short things that they're throwing out there yeah. in their little running game, they will they will get a, a W here. He doesn't have an offensive line. True. His line's horrible. True. And but you, uh, what year was that that Brady got his leg screwed up? I can't remember. It's like well, well, it's when Castle started, so that would have been like no, it wasn't. It was shorter than that. It was like two years ago. Okay. And he's playing like he's almost timid to not to get hurt. Yeah. You know, and that's what concerns me that line so if he can get a chance to throw the ball down the field it's gonna be a long night why are you wearing sunglasses man if you had your shades on you're not cool i'm not wearing shades we're not cool you're not cool he need, he's hiding from the folks who uh <laughs> what, mike see so you, so you got to be cool he's hiding now everybody knows what you look like which <laughs> yeah you 2008 gotta, by the way yeah 2008 brady tore the, the acl that seems like a long time ago really no uh, no i think mike's talking about when he got hurt in practice like uh no 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 in the game oh in the game yes. well that was that was 2008 yes 2008 okay and you're a sports guy i am <laughs> Where <laughs> what is, am I doing here? Where, <laughs> where's Brady's ratings right now? You know, I hear this 115, 117. What is his quarterback rating? I know Stratman would probably DJ's know. He's on oh, it right oh, now. Oh, don't you worry. DJ's you know, a Mike. few clicks away. You talking about his quarterback rating? Yes, yeah, quarterback rating. This year, so far? I'd say not good. Yeah, uh, Mr. Brady, uh, and again, this is not a result of, he's, he hasn't thrown any picks this year. That's good. But as a result of being sacked seven times, 82.9, wow. which is the lower third in the league. And what's Andy Dalton? Andy Dalton is 95.4. Uh, ha! So, <laughs> so there, oh, there wow. you go. Okay. Oh. Mike, Mike who's, the, who, who's the better team, the offense or the defense on the Cincinnati Bengals? Defense. Yeah. Defense is the better I'll be team interested. for the Cincinnati I'll, Bengals. I'll be interested if to see what – what the poll shows me, I think, because I think statistically, mainly like PJ said, points allowed, which is what the job is to get to do. They're the best. But I think, you know, the, the sexy part is the offense mm -hmm. and, the, and the long passes. So There's I'll, nothing I'll be sexier I'll be than a bunch of field goals, you know. I'll tell you. <laughs> Woo Here, the thing about Can't the offense, uh, they're getting a couple of players back this week, aren't they? Uh, Burkhead and um, Marvin, Jones. Jones. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones. And, yeah. But Jones is not going to be himself. He's been out for a while. He's just not going to jump right back in and be the same Jones as he's had. They don't need him to be. They don't need him to be there. The guy that's out that they need to get a handle on is 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 Montez Perfect. Yeah. Because if he gets banged up again, he may be you know feeding pigeons for the rest of his life. He may not be able to play. Who on the Patriots team, okay, would you say? Well, I'll say it this way. Is Dalton better than Brady at no. this point in time no. right now? At this point in time, no. the I mean, Bengals the are three. Wait a minute. You, wait, yes. the Bengals no. are three and zero. Oh, Do you mean the after Pats three games two in 2014 only? Yeah. No. No Andy, way. Andy Dalton is. Andy Dalton's having a better season statistically. Statistically, than uh, Tom Brady, but he's not a better quarterback than Tom Brady. Mm. I don't. I, I don't think even even at Brady's somewhat advanced age, I don't think he's. I don't think Brady at this point is taking a backseat to Dalton. I think Dalton long term could be good. Maybe not Brady good, but good. But I, I don't I, I think even with Brady struggling this year, he's still a better quarterback. Okay, and let me hear your prediction. How many yards will Andy Dalton? You're very go subdued, for? you know. You know, yeah. Mike came on the show the first yeah. three weeks and he's yelling and screaming, This guy sucks, I think that guy sucks. It's the lack of a game. <laughs> and now it's nothing to be mad about. It's very cerebral. It's like, it's, yeah, very cerebral, analytical and everything. And because I think what you've re what I think you've realized is he that, didn't have a week to no, get that fired the Bengals up are pretty no, good. No, no, what happened was <laughs> my nephew was watching us on the web. 
is like, Uncle Mike, you got to turn it down. They're going to run us out of Cincinnati if you keep this up. So, you know, they're suffering the repercussions Self, of me being Self, on here. And I'm thinking, like, how many people out there are actually watching this? It's a lot. And it's a lot. A so lot. he told me to tone it down. My oldest daughter told me, Dad, you got to quit saying Dalton sucks. I got to work with people, and I'm taking the pressure for you. So <laughs> that's why I've toned it down a so little. So wait, you're bowing to, to public right. pressure? That's not the you're Mike McCoy. You're letting the public decide Dave. your opinion for you? That is not the that's Mike not McCoy. That's not the real McCoy. That's yeah. the fake McCoy. Well, this Welcome is to our world. <laughs> yeah, really. Here's well, the, look, that's why I'm nodding look, and smiling. I got to take it out on somebody. So yeah. when we're not on, you know, I do it that way. But I, I just toned it down a little bit because. But if I would ask you to finish this sentence. Andy Dalton sucks. Okay, good. So we're back on track. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just got to tone it down a little bit. You know, I'm a little high strong. There you go. Look at thing, that, Michael. Let's get you worked up. Just look at the screen. There he is. Oh, There's your boy. Yeah. Is that Kitna? It almost looks like Kitna. Nice. It looks Please more like that. Carson Palmer. Please don't say that. What, so, you don't like John Kitna? So if the if the Bengals he win on, on Monday night or Sunday night next week, you're <laughs> you're a believer then? Is that because I think I heard you say that last week? No, I'm not going to be a believer a because believer. I'm going to be dashing for uh, two weeks. You know, I'm going to be uh, the invisible <laughs> man. So Mike's not going to be so? with us. Mike's not going to be with us. Is I'm what he's trying to say. It. Really? So yeah. the PJ's not going to be with us. So, so will this right. raise your level of ire higher, or will this calm you down? Not being here for two weeks. Or are you getting married? All of the above. <laughs> it, will, it will it will calm me down. But I'm gonna tell you, when I come back, the Bengals will probably be. They're three th and zero now. They're three and zero now. What They'll probably be three and two. No. Wow. <laughs> You're Carol telling me they're gonna, they're gonna lose to uh, Carolina. Yeah, Carolina's that's, that's... gotta beat somebody sooner or later. <laughs> then why not the Bengals? <laughs> well, why can't the Bengals beat the Patriots? Somebody's gotta beat them sooner or later. Not happening. Not Sunday, Catherine. Not, not Sunday. Wishful thinking. It's now, like, I know what's next, Mike. When you say that, the next thing out of your mouth is, let's put a bet on it. No, no, That's no. That's always no, 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 what it is. No, when, when it's like this, no, it's that like was the, wishful that was, thinking, and I'm going to be a little. Uh, that was the less subdued, it's like, Mike. Is you wish in one hand <laughs> and spit in the other and see which one get full the quickest. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you what, the colloquialisms <laughs> out, of, out of the real McCoy here. Confusing at best. Well, hey, is that's what I do. do you, are you going to make a bet? Because I know that you make a bet like for a dollar every so that's often. It's a good call. Anybody that's out here, how about a. Uh, so you're saying they're going to lose the next two games? Yes. I will take that bet. Me okay, too. I know you Me like too. White yeah. Castle coffee. So oh, when I, I do yeah. like White Castle so coffee. So when I come back to work, we, we, we if it can't put that happen, on the I'll internet. I'll bring you, quick. how do you like it? Cream sugar? Cream. Well, all right. Medium cream. All right, I'll bring a. Uh, Where are you going? What do you get? What do you get if I win? Or if you win, I get bragging rights. Okay, that's good. I like he'll that. Be back, he'll be back here. It. He'll be back here in two weeks to tell you about it. That's exactly. It <laughs> so you're gone for the next two weeks? Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. I don't know how we're going to be able to manage it. We, uh, we, we might have to go on. We might have to go on hiatus. Maybe we can roll a best of the flying pig skit. <laughs> that would go. imply there was a best. We'll of. have Brian. That'll be Brian's project while he's <laughs> convalescing with his one-handed straight jacket that's yeah, that he has to wear. Yeah. Do, is that what we do here? Not on your side. Put Force people, people in straight, straight jackets. Well, so far, uh, you know, that, well, maybe it's just the digital thing. You know, Bill Bullock went down. Yeah. And, uh, it's, yeah. it's voluntary no. online. Straight, voluntary. straight jackets are voluntary online. <laughs> Can I chime in on the uh, Cleveland? No, we're, deal? we don't want to listen to you anymore. Okay, well, 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 I have to because Mike Strotman back there, who's switching the show, mm -hmm. and I told him at the beginning of the season how Cleveland was going to be. And he told me, like, Cleveland was garbage. They was they this and that no. was and that. What, and what has and happened said, to make you think that that's any different? Because they have a good defense. I'm telling you, watch out for those Browns. <laughs> they're, I they're coming. Them, them Browns are playing. Mike, Their defense is they good. They do have a good defense. Mike was very silent when no. uh, we had Fourth the guy place. Cleveland. That's he where was. they're going. They Fourth place. Much. Well, I wasn't in the room at the time. Oh, Somebody means Strotman. 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 He means Mike Oh, that's oh yeah, sure he yeah, was. I know you wouldn't be. I'm oh, just saying Strawman was very quiet one. Watch the Browns, you know. <laughs> well, I Mike. know I live in Cincinnati and I don't live in Cleveland. Yeah. But watch the Browns. There you go. You know, I think the Browns are the third best team in the division. And who's Bengals, the fourth? Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Steelers? Browns. Steelers. That would be Steelers. the fourth best team in the division. We're gonna have no, to. We're gonna, we're gonna have to bring Liz on and talk about that. I think the oh, Steelers are bringing call. up the barrel. <laughs> oh. The division race right quick. Who's yeah. winning the division right now? Cincinnati. No, they're not. What? They're 3 and 0. Oh. Baltimore's winning the division. I said division. No. What are you talking about? I'm the Ravens are winning the division. No, the Bengals no, no, no. division that they're in. 
No. They're three How and so? one. What? They're three and one. The Bengals are three and zero. Oh. And they beat the division, Ravens. Division. <laughs> I think Baltimore is two and one in the division, and the Bengals are one. Oh, the division race. Yeah, yes. That doesn't mean anything. The heck it don't. If you got more wins than everybody about? else in the division, you win the division. You only get into that stuff if you're But tied. I thought you was telling me the Bengals were going to win the division, and I thought we well, had a latte undefe- or something like that back going on. I don't though. mean division games. I mean, Mark, they're going to win the so division. Many, you've got so many side bets going That's on. That's very you convoluted, you, Mike. You're probably yeah. right, but I'm, the first I remember you saying that. The first tiebreaker is head-to-head competition. No, but I mean, if you have more wins than every other team in your division, you win the division. Right. I I don't even – we should just – okay. Yeah. What the, <laughs> we can move on. I can't believe we're <laughs> talking you. about this. We've let, we've let it get even lower than we have so far. Yes. Well, you Matt, never know. I'm let's just look, forward, let's just look forward to a, a big night next Sunday night. That's what we're looking forward On national television. To. On national television. Okay, and then, mm-hmm. then all of these questions will be answered but it's for good, the next 12 hours. But it's good seeing you, Mike. It really is, because it wouldn't be one of these Mondays without the real Exactly, movie. but I need my bobblehead. All right, I'm going to work on that. You want a bobblehead, too? Um, sadly, uh, there, yeah, I do, actually. No, the, right, I have, the, the, I the answer of, is yes. I, I've <laughs> never had a bobblehead until the people from Depends sent us one, and, and, and they have us in Depends. You're in Depends? Yeah. Bobble they got the people hair, from Depends on. sent yeah, you yeah, yeah. a bobblehead of you. I think it's you called something different now. Yeah, of me and Depends. Reva. We, I've got one and he's got one, and I put the bobbleheads next to each other to take a picture, and I felt uncomfortable immediately. What? what <laughs> like, I <laughs> shouldn't be next to a, a, a man who's not my husband wearing Depends, <laughs> or my husband That's, for that matter. On a Depends oh bobblehead, what bobbles? Just the head. Oh, right, okay. Helmet, <laughs> they nailed I had the to ask. Sorry. Nailed the hair, I'll tell you. All right. Good can to I see have you. a bobblehead? Yes, I'm going to too. Can I have you want a bobblehead of me in Depends underwear? Mike, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> All of these shows, by the way, are uh, available for download oh, on WCPO.com. We want to thank the great people from Furniture Fair who have been just terrific for our, uh, for our furniture here. It's, it's great. It's comfortable. And uh, as a matter of fact, next next Monday, even though Mike will not be here, even though PJ is making... Uh, a giant, mis- no, is get- may having a giant life event and getting married. Giant step. We will be back for another edition of the Flying Pig Skin Show, and only on WCPO.com. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank and you. And thank you for watching what has become the reason why Al Gore invented the Internet. It's the Flying <laughs> Pig Skin Show.